It is quite cute. Thank you very much. This is the plain martin, a common bird resident of these sandy river banks on the banks of the Mara, where they excavate shallow little holes. And I think this particular little martin has decided that it wants to just get out of the wind and the rain for now. These are aerial artists, very similar to swifts and swallows. And... Um, Superb birds that catch, uh, catch, catch insects on the wing, basically. Isn't it just amazing how close these cameras can get? These birds, they do migrate. They migrate a very, very long distance, all the way from Europe and Asia. And um, can you believe it? Flying all the way down here to come and breed on the banks of the, of the river. Ah, Linda, you say that there was a little puffball, and as we said it, we managed to frighten it away. Let me see what else I can find over here for us while we add it. Oh, there we go. There's another one now. It gives us some chance to look at it from the back. Let's go down, and we can see that characteristic sort of pale breast on these martins. Oopsie. Oh, I've lost some focus. Natalie, you say that it looks like a little Disney character. At the moment, it looks like uh, nothing much. I'm battling with the focus. And, of course, because I'm not a gifted cameraman, I'm just an imbecile with 55 thumbs. It's very difficult. Yeah, <laughs> Rebecca says it was looking like a kaleidoscope. Thank you, Rebecca. But there you can see those long primary flight feathers that make these birds such very effective flyers, generating such high, wind, uh, such high speeds and... Uh, and able to catch those insects that are trying to outwit them. Now, what is interesting about birds is that I didn't know, well, you have obviously did know that birds molt, they lose their feathers, but primary feathers are molted one feather at a time. So this bird would molt one feather at a time. The primary feathers are the non-fluffy feathers that you see that make up its ability to fly. So the bigger, the bigger feathers that you see on the wings and will lose one feather at a time over the course of one year and then the process will start all over again. And they do that so that the feathers stay in a good condition. These feathers need to slide uh, over one another. They also have filaments, which means that they can unlock and lock through a zip mechanism, very similar to the zip that zips up your jacket, funny enough. And, um, and these feathers slide over one another, enabling the most air to be captured and, of course, creating that airplane-like um, well, I say the low pressure underneath the wing, which generates the lift that they can get. Isn't that amazing? The only bird on earth which doesn't molt one feather at a time is a penguin. And of course, they molt all their feathers at the same time so that they are not left with a, a patch on their bodies that cold ocean water can get through. Isn't that is just amazing. Finding like chats on how these birds have evolved is just absolutely phenomenal. Cute this little guy. Very observant of what's going on. Head almost constantly moving. These birds have a very high metabolism and need to eat almost their own body weight in food every day in order to in order to maintain this metabolism. But it also gives this very energetic, very jerky movement. They hardly ever sit still. Right now, this oh, there we go. As I was saying, they hardly ever sit still at all, and that is simply because of this massive metabolism. Their bodies are just racing. A couple of hundred beats a minute, their hearts. Some hippo. 